And everybody wants to be a bodybuilder, but nobody wants to lift that heavy ass weight. Hey. Maximum visibility. Dude, this kind of weather makes me want to hit chest. Dude, I'm hunched over at the wheel like Grandma Stevie Nicks. <laughs> and guess what we're training again, boys? I'm training shoulders. Shoulders! Yeah. Gym review, episode two, Metro Flex edition. But we're filming it first. But we all need to know that. <laughs> Right? We played in double ahead, minus three, quadruplize, square. Old school games requires old school delivery methods. Hey C4, we know you're struggling right now because you're handing out free free samples. So uh, if you want to sponsor us, we're we're ready and willing. Please don't actually. Your stuff, <laughs> you, your stuff sucks. <laughs> I'm I'm since I had a free day, nigga, every day a free day. I just never had a me day, you know I like I'm TJ In the vest like I'm D-Ray She like Jody, take it easy But bitch, I live a lifestyle that I can't stand 150 niggas on the porch trying to join the band 150,000 dollars burning holes through my pants Just doing what I can, nigga, I can't even call it Had to get my weight up, no more living regular She hit me on my cellular, I broke that I'm telling her I don't rap, cause I don't need no phone tap I'm running, running, running from the whole traps And need the whole snacks and counting my rack You niggas my whack, you niggas my wax My shit is my gas, I spit it, all I need is low pass You niggas low cash, niggas gustos You on the front porch, I'm in the gutter with the cutthroats We sinking tugboats, no 50-50s with the hunt shows I'm super stingy, plus my older brother like the front top Expensive habits, so I can't front you and I don't want to It's kinda tricky when you win and people love you But wanna snuff you Bitch, I live a lifestyle that I can't stand 150 niggas on the porch tryna join the band 150,000 dollars burning holes through my pants Just doing what I can, nigga, I can't even call it but Bitch, I live a lifestyle that I can't stand 150 niggas on the porch tryna join the band 150,000 dollars burning holes through my pants Just doing what no. I can, nigga, I can't even call it Call me, you can call me what you want As long as you do as much work as you talk Playground time soon. Playground time. This, this is playground time. Hanging with the Lincoln Mold. Is this better than Legos, bro? Yeah. It's like reset. Except instead of reset, you reassess your pump because this makes it feel like you're getting skin hair. That I spoke in the dark The fight for autonomy Never answer the light of my heart I'm searching and getting close to the plight Alleviating this fight Proof in the pudding Never smile at this bright Just need a second more to fix it A second more to cope A second more to patch up All these wounds are how to float But no way in this DNA And tell me how to choke Tunnel vision counting fast The destiny I wrote Give a fuck about what you call me You can call me what you want As long as you do as much work as you talk Two of the gym review. Coveted Wavy score of Metroflex Austin coming up quick. So for facilities, in my opinion, this gym was really kind of lacking. Uh, the restroom was pretty shitty, pretty dirty. Uh, everything was rusty. Nothing was really clean. I'm gonna give it a, a four out of ten. A four out of ten. That's pretty low. Um, you know, I agree with everything he said, but this this facility really took me back to like. 90s feel. I wasn't born in the 90s, but I imagine this is how it would feel. Um, and they had a lot of, uh, well, we'll get to this later, but yes, the equipment was dirty, it was grimy, but that gave me a grimy pump, and I kind of liked it. So I'm going to give it a 7. Damn, 10. A little right. generous, but, you know. Uh, let's see, for powerlifting, as in like powerlifting equipment, places to powerlift, barbells, all the, all the power bars were rusty. There literally wasn't a place to like deadlift. They didn't have a platform or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, the squat racks, they didn't have a monolith. Um, they didn't have any power benches. 
Yeah. I'm gonna give it a two out of ten. Yeah. I, I, I'm basically agreed. Like, I, I don't feel comfortable uh, deadlifting heavy here, benching heavy here. Potentially for an environment to be good for deadlifting, but nah, I'm gonna give it a two out of ten as well. Now, bodybuilding, however, is a totally different story. This is a Ronnie Coleman inspired gym. If you don't know who Ronnie Coleman is, you are living under a rock. We'll, we'll link we'll link this beautiful compilation yeah. right up there. There's and there's you'll Ronnie. See, you'll see you'll see Ronnie. Go 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 give him give him a look. Um nine out of ten. Yeah. All retro equipment, all in relatively good condition for being as retro as it is. It's 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 great. Five preacher curl machines. That's all I'm gonna say. Enough said. Ten out of ten. <laughs> ten out of ten. Nah, nah, nah. Eight, uh, eight and a half out of ten. They didn't have like as many shoulder machines as I wanted because I didn't train shoulders today. But overall, pretty good. Pretty good. All right. For stretching, cardio, functional fitness, all you damn CrossFitters out there. Um, F you're taking strips, CrossFitters. Yeah. I'm giving this gym a nine out of ten on cardio because all the cardio machines. We're lumped into this tiny little corner. They're all dusty, all rusty, never used. That's what I like to see in a, in a good gym. Also, I didn't see a single foam roller here. Crepitus going ham everywhere. Everyone's got dusty elbows, dusty knees. Yeah, 10 out of 10 for me. And there was nothing here that I could have used to become a CrossFitter, so. Love yeah, it. Yeah, this place is allergic to CrossFitters. Yeah. As for equipment, overall, machines, cables mostly. Um, yeah. They were good. I could have, I, I would have liked a bit of a newer, like dual cable system with some nicer lap pull down setups. But um, you know, we'll we'll take a we'll take a seven and seven out of ten. Yeah, I'm a little conflicted about this one because the equipment it uh, it served its purpose and it did its job, but it definitely had a lot of potential for injury if if we're being honest. Like a lot of the like rusted old like chain link. I don't know if y'all know those like chain link hammer strength ones that they, they made in the 90s, but uh, those are really bad for your joints. And uh, like they're fun, they, they had some fun machines, but definitely working out here long term, I would probably tear a bicep, tear a quad within Not like, sustainable. Yeah, within like a month or two. <laughs> yeah. What's your rating? Uh, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Cool. Now, on the other hand, dumbbells, great. 10 out of 10, they went all the way up to 200. They had the, the beautiful, uh, like, stacked layout. Good knurling still, even though the dumbbells are super old. That's rare, so 10 out of 10 for dumbbells. Yeah, and they were all laying, like, wayward across each other, like the big heavy ones, Yeah. which that, you know that they're actually being used, which yeah. is nice. Um, when you have to go on a safari for the hundreds, yeah. you know you're in a good gym. You know, you, you know it's good. And also, each dumbbell had its own distinct smell, which I liked because I'm a, I'm a, not a visual, I'm nose learner. I, I learn with my smell. And that was, Olfactory. That was nice. Olfactory. 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 Olfactory had Olfactory ass. Olfactory learner. Yeah. This brain did. Uh, this brain. Yeah, this brain. This brain. Okay. He's this got gym, the, the pre monkey brain. This gym made me stupid. Yes. Uh, price. It's 45 bucks for a membership monthly. Wait, I didn't give it a rating. Oh, fuck. What was your okay, rating? Uh, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Nice. Okay. Price. $45 a month. Um. <laughs> Not bad, a little overpriced. I, I couldn't see myself paying more than like 35 bucks a month. The gym overall is pretty small, and there, there's a, a large majority of it dedicated to legs. But really, they have everything you need, so I'm giving price a 6 out of 10. $15 for a day pass, I'm just not a fan of, especially... Actually, when, yeah, I forgot the day pass is $15. Yeah. I'm dropping to a 5. And especially when this is one of those gyms where I feel like the majority of their income comes from day people passes. like us just coming to get day passes. Like, for what it's giving, and I would say max they should have done $5 a day. So I'm going to give it a, a 4 out of 10 on that one. Yeah. Plus, they, they set us up with the, the expectation that we were going to have a free three days. And that right there was enough to just drop it down to, to honestly a 4. I'll, I'll go with him. That, that. Um, now location, that's a 0. This gym is 30 minutes from Central Austin. Um, it's in the middle of like a warehouse district. Like I guess, like if you look around, it's kind of like it's, a cool location. It's got a, it's got the serenity and like country beauty that you know some people are going for. But for most of the general Austin population, it's not not a great location. Yeah. What do you give it? Zero. Zero. Uh, I'll go one. I'll one. go one. I'm being, low. Nice. I'm being nice here. Uh, size of the gym, I'm gonna go three. 
I've, I've been in a lot smaller gyms, but like 90% of gyms, especially charging 45 bucks a month, are way bigger. This gym is max a thousand square feet. Um, yeah, it's 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 all right. It'll it'll do. So I'm gonna go three out three out of ten. On the other hand, I did feel like the cozy like equipment was nice and smushed together. Not in like a too cramped way, but you did kind of have to wiggle your way around the equipment. Um, some people like that. Some people don't. I'm gonna give it a five out of ten, right in the middle. You know, for pre workout and pump. Uh, they don't sell any in-house pre-workout. If you want free, bring your own. So that's a 0 out of 10, but the pump was an 8 out of 10, so that'll average out to a 4 out of 10 for our, our coveted pre and pump category. I'm, I'm, I'm with them on that. 0 out of 10 for pre, obviously, and then I got about an 8 out of 10 pump. Yeah. Overall, average good pump. Four. Good yeah, pump today. Good pump. It's a good environment for a pump. Now, it goes with the bodybuilding thing. The most exclusive and extensive factor we have, the test factor, just how much testosterone does this gym produce? On a scale of, of one to Larry Wheel's stack, which would be 10, uh, I'm gonna give it a solid seven, sort of right in the above average range. It's pretty pretty good. Yeah, yeah I mean, it was hard to tell because we hit the evening crowd and it was raining, so a lot of people may not have been here they normally go, but yeah. I don't know, I, I felt it. I definitely felt the history and the, uh, the potential for heavy ass lifts i'll go i'll go seven and a half seven and a half and honestly like the if you if you really want to bring your own music the music that I play here is non-existent it's and quiet it's quiet and it's not very good anyway and it, <laughs> for the last 20 25 minutes of our workout i kid you not they had the same song on repeat over and over and over again but it was a good song but just yeah shuffle okay and for, for the general wavy scale, which I suppose is just assessing the, the wavy vibes, I'm tempted to give it a solid seven and a half. A, a, a middle C, I'd say, not a C plus, seven and a half. Yeah, thinking back on the scores I gave it, and thinking that there was a monkey here in the gym today. Um, the monkey in the gym made it lit. The monkey in the gym did make it lit. I'm gonna go ahead and bump it up to an eight and a half. Like, one point for the monkey. <laughs> one point for the monkey. I'm being generous for sure. As as you saw with the text video, like nothing close to text at all, but it, it was good. It was a good workout. It was definitely worth like a nice nighttime sesh. Uh, will I come back? Maybe not, but yeah, eight and a half. Yeah, solid. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and check out our big text review, it'll be right here. If you guys need a refresher on our scoring, um, that'll also be in the text review, um, but yeah, so on a, a sliding scale of 120 points, we'll go ahead and average our two scores and we'll pop it up right now. And then the Wavy factor we combined for a uh, 7.5 plus 8.5, a 16 points out of 20, which is pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Better than your average LA Fitness, I'll tell you yeah, that Yeah, it beats golds. Yep. All right. Catch y'all later. Much love. Like and subscribe. Thank you. That's going to be like an eight-minute. You're going to have to dial that Ten one Ten and a half.